you know, this is something my wife has pointed out too. She said, well, men are going to have to stand up for themselves. But here's the problem. I know how to stand up to a man who's, who's uh, unfairly trespassing against me. And the reason I know that is because the parameters for my resistance are quite well defined, which is we talk, we argue, we push, and then it becomes physical. Right? Like if, if we move beyond the boundaries of civil discourse, we know what the next step is. Okay, that's forbidden in, in discourse with women. And so I don't think that men can control crazy women. I don't think, I really don't believe it. I think that they have to throw their hands up in, 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 in what? In, in, it's not even disbelief. It's that the cultural, there's no step forward that you can take under those circumstances because if the man is offensive enough and crazy enough, the, the re reaction becomes physical right away, or at least the threat is there. And when men are talking to each other in any serious manner, that underlying threat of physicality is always there, especially if it's a real conversation and it keeps the thing civilized to some degree. You know, if you're talking to a man who wouldn't fight with you under any circumstances whatsoever, then you're talking to someone to whom you have absolutely no respect. But I can't see any way, for example, there's a, there's a woman in, in Toronto who's been uh, organizing this movement, let's say, against me and some other people who are going to do a free speech um, um, event, and she managed to organize quite effectively, and she's quite um, offensive, you might say. She compared us to Nazis, for example, which, you know, publicly, yeah. using the swastika, which wasn't really something I was all that fond of, but I, I'm defenseless against that kind of female insanity, because the techniques that I would use against a man who was employing those tactics are forbidden to me. So I don't know, like, it seems to me that it isn't men that have to stand up and say enough of this, even though that is what they should do. It seems to me that it's sane women who have to stand up against their crazy sisters and say, look, enough of that, enough man-hating, enough pathology, enough bringing disgrace on us as a, as a gender. But the problem there, and, and then I'll stop my little tirade, is that most of the women I know who are sane are busy doing sane things, right? They're off, they have their career, they have their family, they're quite occupied, and they don't seem to have the time or maybe even the interest to go after their, their crazy harpy sisters. And so I don't see any regulating force for that, that terrible femininity. And it seems to me to be invading the culture and undermining the, the masculine power of the culture in a way that's, I think, fatal. Hello, my name is Jay. I'm social justice based. Agree with me or you'll be shamed. Hello, my name is Jay. I'm social justice waste. Agree with me or you'll be shamed. All the triggers, I've got my vampire even bigger. I am a vegan, transgender fan.